Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm trying something entirely new that I have never done on this channel. As you may notice, this video is in English. That's a first for me. And I know my English is far from perfect as you may notice, but I'm working on it and I thought why not give it a shot. For now there will be subtitles in German that you can activate down below. They are written by me, so they should be pretty good, not as bad as the ones that are generated automatically by Google. But now on with the video. When you're browsing through the interwebs, you stumble over a lot of PC building myths. One of them is that you should always put your GPU in the topmost slot because the performance is better. I mean, it makes sense because the connection to the CPU is shorter, so there should be more performance, right? I guess we will find out today, because I am going to test this if there is really a difference in the real world. So my testing met methodology was pretty straightforward. First I did the test in the first slot as my GPU is now with all the tests. Then I shut down the PC and changed the graphics card to the third slot. Then I do the tests again. So much to the theory. But in practice it was much more difficult. Because I had a heck of a time when I moved the GPU from the top slot to the third slot. Because the system wouldn't boot properly and they had issues with display drivers. But after quite a while of trial and error I managed to do it. But when I wanted to test the fifth slot also, which is a by 8 connection, so they're all only 8 PCIe lanes, I couldn't get it to work at all. So I left this test out. But now I want to show you the results. To minimize the margin of error, I ran every test 3 times and then took the average of that. This turned out to be quite important because the results fluctuated by quite a lot. So let's take a look at the first score. This is from the Firestrike benchmark, the total score. As you can see, the difference is very minor. Actually, the GPU in the third slot was for some reason a tiny bit faster than the one in the first slot. I don't know why that is, but I know that the difference is so small that it is very well in the margin of error. When we go to the graphics only score from Firestrike, the story is pretty much the same. That's not very surprising because we only changed the GPU, so the physics score shouldn't have changed. So the total score should be pretty parallel, parallel to the graphics score. Now you might say, well, obviously it's a fire strike thing that there is no difference. So I tested Valley Benchmark too. And the story is pretty much the same. Except that the difference is a tiny, tiny bit bigger and now the first card is a bit faster, as you might expect. But the difference is still so small that you can't notice it really. That especially is true when we go to the GTA 5 benchmark. I used the built-in benchmark from GTA 5 so the scene was pretty much the same. And the difference was so small. Only one FPS difference. That's not really noticeable and could very well be some other thing in the system that isn't quite the same. I guess that brings us already to the conclusion. I have to say, I'm quite surprised. I expect there not to be a huge difference, but a tiny noticeable difference I thought there would be. But as it turns out, there is basically no difference in if you use a 16x slot that is near or farther from your CPU. But that doesn't mean that on your motherboard you can use any slot where the graphics card fits in. Because sometimes motherboard manufacturers run certain slots only at 8x speed, so there are only 8 PCIe lanes, like the fifth slot on my board. So you have to check your manual that you are using a 16x slot, because 16 and 8x that can make a difference. But if you have two slots that are running at the same speed, it doesn't matter at all where you put your graphics card. You can put it every, anywhere where you think it looks the best. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and while you're down there you can write a comment also and tell me how I did. If you want to see more videos like this, you can also consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and until next time.